The old saying goes, adapt or get left behind. And that very saying can be applied to the news that the WBO has officially ordered a purse bid for Terrence Crawford versus Sean Porter, which in itself is big news. But the innovative icing on the cake is that the purse bid will be live streamed. That's right, live streamed on the WBO's Facebook page. Finally, compelling content that us fans were never ever privy to in the past. Ah, can you believe this? Like, this is, I guess this is that, that new culture where everything is, you know, reality-based, so reality shows, and now here we got a live streaming of a purse bid. I always wanted to go what goes down uh, during the purse bid. It's transparency, which is what we need. Listen, fight fans are always complaining about we don't know this, we don't know that. I think this is a good start to letting fans know everything. Now, I don't know how I'm picturing this. I'm trying to picture it. I don't know how the scenario is going to go down or are they going to be uh, all of the, I guess, the entities that want to bid on this. Is there going to be a little video of Eddie Hearn using him as an example if he were to bid or all the networks, the guy from Trilla, is he going to be in another little box, you know, sort of face, uh, Facebook people can see and, and shouting out numbers. I'm going to bid this. I'm going to bid that. What, what does that entail? What does that actually mean being live on Facebook. That's what I want to know. But if it's something that we can actually see somewhat of an auction for this fight live, I think that's epic. Oh, absolutely. It's epic. It's new. Like I said, it's innovative. But I've always been told that you get the bid and then that's it. You can't change your bid. So you don't know what the other guys are bidding. It's not like you can hear the other guy's bid like at a regular auction. Uh, oh. da, 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 40. Uh, I hear 30. <laughs> it's not like that. So Where's the excitement in that? <laughs> you know, so I'm really wondering what is this going to look like? Now, listen, if everybody but the people bidding can see the actual bid, that might be exciting. If everybody watching can see he bid this, he bid that, and all of a sudden you know who who's going to win the bid. But there has to be something, uh, there has to be an entertaining factor uh, for the viewers. If not, what's the point in having it live on Facebook if nobody's really going to know anything? So Are oh, you just trying to get Aka Barak to host it? That's what you're trying to do, right? Yes, I mean, <laughs> of course, we need to get paid, man. You know what it is. We're making minimum wage here, so we need to create streams of, in, uh, of revenue elsewhere. So let us host it. We'll talk to the Facebook fans. We'll let them know what's going on. We'll bring some excitement to it. We might even put a little bit in. You know, I got a couple of dollars. Yeah, I, I, I could I could match your, your couple of dollars, man, see what we got, man. Because I know, God knows I want to see that damn fight. <laughs> so I hope somebody wins the bid and it actually happens. Because we all know what happened with the last lightweight showdown that Triller placed a big bid on. That fight still hasn't happened. We don't not even yet, know if yet. it's going to happen. I, I heard uh, Terrence Crawford on, on, a, on another show with, with Teddy Atlas and he was like, yeah, the fight's going to happen. I ain't signed no contract yet, but it's purse bid. So that means this is going to happen. So the question is, who needs this fight, this fight more? Is it Bud or is it Porter? Uh, you know, that's a tough question, Barack, but if I had to answer it, I probably would say Bud Crawford only because he's the one guy that hasn't faced any guy from the PBC side. Even though, in my opinion, Bud is one of the best fighters in the world. I have him at number two still. He still, to some degree, has to prove something to a lot of fight fans in a welterweight division. Not saying that he's not going to prove the, prove it and, and pass with flying colors, but Sean has been in there with Errol Spence. Sean has been in there with Keith Thurman. Sean has been in there with Danny Garcia. Sean has been in there with Ugas. He's been in there with Kell Brook. So, I mean, if anybody doesn't have anything to prove in a welterweight division, it's Sean Porter. So, if anybody needs this fight more than the other guy would be Terrence Crawford. Not that he needs it financially, but in terms of legacy, in terms of proving something to the fight fans, Terrence Crawford would need this fight a little bit more than Sean Porter. Very well said. Round of applause for that, because that is totally how I feel. Sean Porter is the only welterweight that has fought every other top welterweight, excluding Manny Pacquiao. So in reality, he can retire. <laughs> he can retire. If he's not going to move up to 154, then he needs to just retire because he's already proved himself. No, he has, he's already proven his greatness already. He even had a close fight with the guy who's at the top of that division, and that's Errol Spence. So yes, it's definitely um, Bud who needs this fight more so he can solidify himself if he wins right. in this division. But listen, Sean Porter is so hard to beat. He is so hard to look good against. And this right here is an incredible fight.